Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I wanted to count down my best lug purchases for the year 2020. So I had to narrow it down to just 10, otherwise this would be a very long video if I showed you all of my best purchases for 2020 when it comes to lug. So if you wanna see my top 10 lug purchases of 2020, then just keep watching. I just thought I would end 2020 on a happy note and just share together the love we have for lug bags. So I wanted to just go ahead and tell you what my favorite purchases from 2020 were. There was a lot and I just had to narrow it down to 10. So I'm gonna show you my top 10 lug purchases from 2020. So some of these are not brand new. These are not just new releases. These are new to me that I purchased in 2020 and they're gonna be in no particular order. And what I'll do is I'm just going to kind of just like briefly go through all the organization in it, show you how it looks on. And then I just thought that if you would like to see an in-depth review of any of these, then I would be more than happy to do that. You can leave down in the comments below. I know there's a lot of lug videos out there showing the reviews and the organization of it, but if there's any particular one that you would like to see from me, I would be more than happy to do an individual video and go in more depth on what can fit in it, how you can wear it, what the uses are, and how I use it. So if you wanna see any of those in-depth videos, just comment down below and I would love to do those for you. But what I'm gonna to do today for this video so that it's not so long for you, I'm just gonna give you my 10 best ones, kind of go through a little bit of it and show you how it wears on the body. The first one I wanna show you is the slider. And I purchased it in the Heather Indigo and I really like this because it has this denim look to it. So you can see up close it has denim and then it has this blue quilted pattern at the bottom. It has lots of different organization, but first of all, I'll show you how I wear it most. So you can either wear this cross body like I have it. I like to wear my cross body like right there at the hip. I, a lot of people like to wear it longer and it's still, like it's right here, so I have still this much room that you can lower it down, so there's still quite a bit of length that you can lower if you like to have yours a little bit lower. But this is a really good way to, it's very lightweight. It's a really good medium size. It holds quite a bit because of all the organization, of course, and it's not really big, it's not gonna be heavy, so it's not gonna hurt your shoulders or anything like that, but I think it's really good and it's a, it's a flatter style, so you're not gonna have to worry about it being really bulky on the hip either. I like how nice it lays against the hip. But then you can also wear this if you don't like the cross body. You can put it all the way to the bottom over here, and then you can wear it over the shoulder. So you can have it as an over the shoulder bag that'll hit you right about around the hip area as well if you like to wear them like that. But, you know, I don't like to worry about them slipping off so I like to wear them cross body. So I'll just show you a little bit of the organization that's in this. So like I said, it has this beautiful little quilt and of course it comes in different colors. I just like this because I wear this with jeans a lot. It has this very front zipper right here with that gorgeous cobalt blue lining that has a little bit of floral in it. And then it also has another zipper detail right here and it has no built-in organization as far as a wallet or anything like that goes, but it has two great size pockets right here. And then it has your magnetic felt lines in that pretty cobalt color as well, right there for your cell phone. And then the back also has the gorgeous lining as well. It's not felt lined, but it's a really nice pocket, really nice and deep. If you want something that's really close to your body, it has the feet on the bottom. So the back is all that heathered indigo and on the front it has just that little bit of different on the bottom part of it, the little quilting detail. So if you go inside to the main compartment, the main zipper part, then you have again that gorgeous blue lining, comes with a little key leash right here. So I like to clip my earbuds on that so they're easy to find. And then you have two cargo pockets back here on the back of it. And then on the front of it, you have that clear lining. That's one long lining. It goes all the way down to the bottom and it's that clear zipper part. And then you have a pretty good amount of room inside of it. So this is a really nice crossbody, really good medium size. Next up is gonna be the Samba in the Aloha Navy print. I love this Aloha Navy print. It just is a really gorgeous print, but of course this comes in other prints and solids as well. So this comes with two separate handles. So it has this handle right here, which is gonna be where you can just carry it over your shoulder like this. It's really nice to just go right up underneath and hold it with your elbow or you can also do it crossbody. So I just kept both of them on here. Of course, this is detachable. So if you don't want to wear it over your shoulder like this as a short bag, you can always detach this and put that away if you want to wear it crossbody. So if you wanna wear it crossbody, you can wear it like this. And it also has an adjustment to where you can even do it longer if you want to do it longer as well. Or if you don't want to use that short one, then you can just 
make this one go up and have a double strap if you want to have it just a little bit longer on your shoulder if you don't want it like right up here and you want it a little bit longer on your shoulder you can also do it that way so you can have three different ways you can do it cross body you can do it a little bit longer length at your hip or you can do it really short like right up underneath your elbow so that's three different ways that you can carry the samba and like i said this is a gorgeous aloha navy print i absolutely love it there's no feet at the bottom of it it has this quilting design at the very front so you can see the quilting on the front of it and on the inside it has this one zipper pocket right here which is the built-in wallet and let me look i'm trying to remember yes it is rfid protected so it has that really pretty orange with the flowers inside as well so that is so pretty the lining is so pretty so this has a clear plastic area for your driver's license and then another area right here that zips so this has a zipper area right here if you want to put anything here your clear plastic right here and it has some of that aloha navy on the inside as well and then you have all of your slots for your credit cards right here and then at the very bottom is a place for you to put your pen if you want to do that so it does have your built-in wallet right here on the front and then it has your designated cell phone area with that felt lining and then it does have a part in the back that is a zipper part. Sorry, I don't have it packed for you, but I thought having all of these packed would just take it so much time to unpack it to show you the inside. I thought it was more important to kind of show you the organization on the inside of these. But like I said, if you want any individual reviews, I would be more than happy to do that. So you have this big zipper part on the back of this as well. And then your main compartment has a top zip and inside it, you'll see that clear plastic zipper part in the very back so you have your clear plastic part on the front of it you're going to have two cargo pockets right there you can see the two cargo pockets it does not have a key leash or a key clip or anything in there for your keys but it does have a really good size area so this is a really good size medium crossbody or over the shoulder bag next up is a great tote bag and it's the wind jammer and i got it in this gorgeous black color i just want it to be a classy this comes in prints and other colors as well but i wanted a classy look that you could either use this as a carry-on when you're flying or a personal item when you're flying, use this as a work bag. You could even use this as a baby bag, a smaller baby bag. You can wear this two different ways. You can carry it over the shoulder. If you wanna carry it, that's the most popular way that I carry it is over the shoulder. Or you can also carry this crossbody. It has this additional strap if you wanna add this additional strap to do it crossbody. If I was gonna use this as a carry-on, that's the way I would use it because I don't like to have tote bags when I'm flying just because sometimes you have to run to those gates and I don't have to worry about anything falling off my arm. So I always will either do a backpack or something that will um, slide on my rollerboard if I have a rollerboard as well. Or if I have to and I use a tote style, then I would like for it to be crossbody too. It's just the easiest way to go around when you're in the airport. So you can wear this crossbody if you would like to. It, but I did want to mention a lot of their straps that they have that are adjustable for crossbody are really easy to adjust. But this has a really thick strap on this so it was really hard to get this to adjust as you can see how easily i slid the other ones this is a little bit harder to slide so if you do want to use this crossbody it is a tad harder to get it to slide down and adjust to the length that you want it but if you want to just carry it over the shoulder it has this really nice rubber grip right here on both sides so you don't have to worry which side is facing you you're going to have that rubber grip so you're not going to have to worry about it falling off or anything like that so it's going to be really nice see it's not going to fall off of my sweater that i have on so i like the grips on this but like i said this can be used as a work bag i can put my mac pro computer in here but to keep in mind this does not have enough padding if you're just wanting to slide a computer in here if you're wanting to put a computer in here and use this as a work bag, I would definitely make sure I had a padded holder for it before I put it in here because this has no padding. It doesn't have a designated area for that's padded for your laptop or anything like that, but it will fit a laptop if you do want to use it as a work bag. And it can fit a mini trolley in it as well if you want to throw some snacks in that to have it in your work bag as well. But it does have these little side pockets for bottles. That's why I said it would be really good as a baby bag too if you wanted a smaller baby bag. Just one that you're carrying for just a couple of hours of errands or anything like that. It does have two side pockets for water bottles, bottles for babies, anything like that, sippy cups. The bottom is completely wipeable with this plastic, which I really like, but it also has those feet. So it's gonna keep it nice and germ-free. It also has this quilting. You can see the quilting design that's on the front of it. it. does not carry through to the back. The front zipper right down here at the bottom has this, it's kind of like a, I guess confetti maybe, I'm not sure. It's like a 
bigger confetti uh, lining on the inside of it. But this is a pocket that's kind of a shallow pocket, so it's really nice to just throw some things you don't have to worry about digging around for. And then this zipper, on the next zipper is a double zipper. So you can also put it up to the top if you'd rather have your zippers on the top. And it has this key clip right here on the side. It has a clear zipper compartment on the back, but it does have places for credit cards, license, anything like that. And I am not seeing that it says it's RFID. It may be, but I do not see the tag in here. So, oh yes, I do. Here's the tag, it says RFID, so it's our RFID. I was pretty sure almost every lug bag is, but I just wanted to make sure before I told you that. So this compartment, this compartment right here has the clear zipper and the built-in wallet for you. And like I said, it's a double zipper if you like that. And then up here is yet another zipper area and it has that lining and it goes nice and deep. So it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. So that's a really nice storage area. If you were using this as a diaper bag, you could throw your extra clothes in there or anything like that. Or if you were wearing it, using it as a work bag, then you could put some important papers or anything in there. Or if you're using it as a carry-on in the airport, that's where you could throw any of your documents or you could throw them down here in this bottom one down here if there's smaller documents or anything you need, passport or anything like that. Then it has your designated cell phone area that is felt lined right there. And then off to the back, I'll show you the back. It has this magnetic closure right here that has a really good area that goes all the way to the bottom. And then right here, it has a trolley sleeve. If you did want to use it as a carry-on and put it on a roller board, then you can use it for that. Then it has the main area. So we've got all this organization and we're not even into the main area yet. So this is a really nice functioning work bag. Like I said, it's a really good tote bag. It's an everyday bag. If you just like to throw a lot of stuff in to keep in your car as you're going out throughout the day, then this is a really good bag for that. It's not heavy, even though if you pack this, because you can pack this pretty full. Even if you pack it full, it's not going to be really heavy because it's a lot of bag and they're not heavy to begin with. So on the inside, you've got all of this nice organization on the inside. So in the back here, you have this zipper area in the back if you want anything private and then on the front side it has this cargo part and this cargo part so again it has two cargo compartments and they're really good and deep and wide so that's a really nice organization on the inside and even if you just wanted to put a whole lot of stuff in there you could put a small lunch bag in there if you wanted to do that the chomper doesn't fit i tried and like i said i put a mini trolley in there or you could put your parasail in there if you're somebody that likes to carry your makeup around. You could put a parasail or a jib if you keep just a small amount of makeup. I have a Palm Sunset jib that looks really pretty with this. It really goes really good with this with that pink and that gray. It really does look good with this. But this is another one of my favorites, the Windjammer in this black color. Guys, for this next one, when I found out that they were selling this one, I could not order this quick enough. I was waiting for this. I was so excited for this. And so it's the Mini Puddle Jumper 3. So it's the one that also can be carried as a backpack because I had a couple of the Mini Puddle Jumpers and I thought they were a perfect size for just throwing everything I used through the day, put it in the car, but I really wanted it in a backpack because like I say, when I'm out with my kids, I really want to have something where I'm hands-free and I don't really like to carry this crossbody. So I really liked this in the, the backpack. So when they came out with this, I could not order this quick enough. I was so excited to get this. And so I got it in the Heather Gray because this was going to be a, one that I used a lot, so I didn't really want it in a print, and I couldn't decide between the Heather Indigo or the Heather Gray, and the lining on the inside of this is what sold me on the Heather Gray. I have the Heather Gray in a couple of colors, and I know people think that the gray's boring, but to me, it's just classy and doesn't go out of style like some prints may, so that's why I got this in the solid color, because I was so excited for this to come out. So you can, work, you can carry this three different ways. So you can carry it just by its handle. If you want to carry it by its handle, just, you know, throw it in your car, wherever. It does not have any rubber grips, but it does have a little bit of padding right here where your hands would be if you like to carry it that way. Or you can also carry it crossbody. If you choose to carry it crossbody, it does have this nice padded area right here. So this is rubber, so it's not going to fall off of anything off your shoulder, but it's also really nice and padded too. So if you wanted to carry it crossbody, which like I say, I never carry crossbody, even though I like crossbodies, this is a backpack all the way for me. So you can carry it this way if you like to carry it crossbody, or if you didn't want to carry it crossbody and didn't want to carry it like this and just wanted to carry it across one shoulder, you could also do that by adjusting this. You still have that really nice grip right here if you wanted to carry it over your shoulder like that or of course you could also adjust it up if you wanted it a little bit high but my favorite way to wear it is backpack style because i love a good backpack this is a perfect size
size backpack. So here it is, backpack style. Of course, you would take the other straps off, but it's a really nice, comfortable backpack because it has these grips right here and a lot of padding on the grips. So let's just go ahead and start with the back since I'm here. So I'm gonna get these straps out of the way so we can go through the back of this. So you do have a nice trolley sleeve right here, really nice trolley sleeve to put it over your roller board. And then you have this zipper right here that can almost be hidden. Like if you have it right there, it's almost hidden. So this is a really nice zipper area to put anything close to you. It's got that really nice lining. It's not padded at all, but you can see how far down it goes. You could put a tablet or something there if you wanted to. It's not gonna fit a computer or anything like that. And then it also has this little area right here where you can put something. And then it has this wipeable bottom with these feet, which I really do like. And then we can go around to where it has these side pockets right here for bottles. If you wanna put any kind of water bottles or a chuggy or anything like that in there, you've got that area. And then in the very front, You've got your designated cell phone area that's felt lined, and then you have these two pockets right here that zip around, and you've got a little area in the inside of these where you can put things. Zip that one instead of unzipping it. And then you've got these two pockets right here where you can slide things in these little magnetic pockets right here. And you get your big long one right here, which is where I would put my wallets, or it has a built-in wallet if you want to use that. So this right here is felt lines. So this is really good if you wanna put sunglasses, readers, or anything like that. You can put those right there in the front and they won't get crushed or anything. In the front of this has your built-in wallet for your credit card spot slots. It does not have any clear ones for a um, driver's license if you like to have the clear one for your driver's license. And it also has this little zipper up here if you wanna put any cash or anything right here and keep that right there is really nice up here. And I like this little black right here that kinda of just sets it a little bit apart instead of just being all gray. And it has this quilting design right here and on these pockets as well. So that's just the outside of it. We haven't even gotten onto the inside of this one either. So in the very back, let's see if I can show you this to you as good as I can. This is a felt line and it's one really nice cargo pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom. I'm trying to show this to you the best I can. So you can see this one cargo pocket that's felt line. So you could put a laptop or anything in there if you wanted to. And then the front right here has your holders right here for your pins. And then it also has this zipper, this clear zipper area right here. And then it's also got a little key clip right here for you if you want it. This is a key clip. And then it just has this really nice big open area right here where you can fit a lot of stuff. This does hold quite a bit in here for it to be the mini puddle jumper. And even when you have it packed full, it's not that heavy. But like I said, my favorite way to carry this is backpack. So you can carry this backpack by the handles. You can carry it crossbody or you can carry it over the shoulder. And this is a really good size. It's a really nice bag. I was so excited to be able to purchase this. Since we were on the subject of backpacks, I wanted to show you my next favorite, which is the Packable Echo. So this is the newer Echo. I did not like the other ones because it had the patterns and then it had a solid color with it. I didn't like those. And then there's one feature that I like on this one really well. I can't decide though if this is my favorite packable backpack or the packable puddle jumper. I like the print in this one better than the one that I have for the packable puddle jumper backpack, but I just really love this. I love how they pack within themselves because these are great for traveling. I used to travel all the time until COVID hit. I cannot wait to get back to traveling because I will be using this a lot because this is great to throw in a suitcase or a carry-on as an additional bag if you pick up extra souvenirs as you're traveling, or this is great for walking around if you're going to tourist destinations where you'll be doing a lot of walking. This is great to carry your stuff because this is just something you can add into your bag and use when you're walking down the street, at your parks or wherever you're going, and good for short excursions if we ever get back to cruising. So this is a great travel bag. It's just great to have for an extra bag in case you need it and it doesn't take up a lot of room. It packs within itself. So it has a little ring if you need the ring, and then it's gonna completely zip out. And this is in that tropical multi color, which is a gorgeous color. This is my favorite print now. I just love this. I love, I used to love the tropical fog as my favorite but this one has overtaken it. So this is what it looks like when you take it all the way out. So the bottom part where you zipped it into is actually when you zip it back up, 
is actually another compartment that you can separate things with. So if you have anything that got wet or anything, you can keep this in here and it's gonna keep it completely separate than anything else. Or if there's just anything that you want to keep separate, this is a really good area because it just completely zips around at the bottom. If you have dirty shoes or anything like that and wanna put them down here, then this is a great area for it. And this is where it packs itself back into. So I really love this part of it. And then I just love that this is a packable backpack that has so many great features. So of course, it has where you carry it. And then in the front of it, it has this zipper where it's just a big empty zipper part. You know, of course, there's not gonna be any built-in wallet or anything like that, or it wouldn't be able to pack into itself, no designated cell phone area, because it's made out of this really nice packable material. But on the back of it, you have these really nice shoulder straps, which is really surprising to be in a packable backpack, but it's got a lot of padding back here. So it's really nice and comfortable on your back. And of course it's adjustable just like any of the other ones. It has a trolley sleeve right here. So if you did want to carry this as a personal item or anything like that, you could put it on your rollerboard. That would be nice and easy to do. But then on the inside, it just has a really big, nice area on the inside. It's so wipeable. So if you don't have any kind of wet clothes or anything like that, you know, it's going to be okay because it's completely wipeable. Anything dirty or anything like that, you're not going to have to worry about it at all. But this is just so great because it has this front compartment, the big compartment, a trolley sleeve, bottle pockets, and then this bottom hidden compartment where if you want to keep something separate. And it packs within itself. And to have padded back straps for a backpack that's packable is just unreal to me. So this is really great. Like I said, I couldn't decide if I like this one better or if I like the Puddle Jumper Packable Backpack better, but this one is a really great one. I like the print on this one really well. And just look how easy this was. How simple was that for me to just fold that up and of course, it's not gonna be as flat as it was when you first bought it. I mean, I just pack it in here and it's still a safe space, but eventually, you know, eventually you can just squish it down there to where it gets a little bit flatter. But see, look how flat that is. Completely packable backpack. This is just amazing. I love this one. Next up is the swivel in this blush pink color. I love this color and I'm thinking about getting in that gray color because it just looks so beautiful in the gray too. So what I really like about this is the size of this. This may be a little bit small for some people that carry a lot of stuff. So you can wear this cross body and that's the way, you know, it's meant to be worn. So here it looks cross body. I like to have it right here at the hip and it really lays nice and flat. So you can see like it almost disappears whenever you have it. But this one good thing about this is that it also zips around and opens up. So if you wanted to expand it, then it's going to expand. So see how much more room that you get. So I'm gonna show you how it looks if it's expanded too. I should probably, you can probably get a better feel if it was packed. I just didn't pack them on this so that I could show you all the insides of this. But this has this where it zips around. And I wanted to show you this to you worn with this sweater. So I have like an eyelash sweater on and this is not picking it by any means. This zipper right here, even though it's exposed, is a very smooth zipper. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry about it picking any of your sweaters or anything like that. So that's really nice too, because if this was rough, I would be worried about you know, wearing it open with any of my sweaters or anything like that, but you do not have to worry about that. So I like how this will open up and here's how it looks like on the body when it is opened up. You could also wear this just across your shoulder if you wanted to do that and just shorten this and then you could just wear it over the shoulder if you wanted to. You could wear it all the way down to your hip or this is what it would look like if it was completely shortened on your shoulder. It would look like this. So if you do like shoulder bags, better, then this will fit really nicely on your shoulder if you didn't want to wear it cross body. So this came with that heart pouch and what I just do with the heart pouch is I just throw my keys in there to keep them separate, especially because my keys are one of those, like if you go up to the door, it senses it. You don't even have to get them out. It'll just go ahead and unlock. So that's why I can just keep them in here and not have to worry about them and they're away from everything. Has these two front zippers in the front. Oh, and I wanted to show you this quilting right here in the middle of it as well. But on the inside, this pocket goes all the way. You can see my hand fits all the way in here. It kind of goes to about right here. So that's a nice size pocket in the front. And that way, if you wanted to throw your phone or something in here, because this does not have one of the designated phone areas, so if you wanna just throw your phone in there, that's good. Now this one's a little bit shorter, as you can see only about half my hand will go in this one. So it ends about right there. So this one will end right here where this zipper is, and this one goes all the way over to the other side. And then in the back, you do have a little bit of area in the back that's felt line. So if you did wanna put your cell phone there, if you didn't wanna throw it in the front, and wanted to have it closer to you, you could put it in here because it is felt line, or you could put your sunglasses or anything in there. So on the inside, Look at this pretty lining for the blush pink. So on the back of it, you're gonna have this 
zipper part in the back. That is a privacy one, so you can just put anything that you want to in there. And then you have a cargo pocket right there that is felt lined. So this cargo pocket is felt lined if you wanted to put sunglasses or anything right there. And then you have two little pin holders right here on the side of this cargo pocket. So on a lot of the bags, they have two cargo pockets, but this one just has one and it is felt lined. On the front of this, it has this zipper on the front, which goes all the way across, but only one half of it is gonna be clear lined. So if you can see this, I'm trying to get to where you can see it. This part right here is clear lined, but that only takes up half of the zipper. The other is a privacy one. So as you can see, the zipper runs from here to here, but it's divided right here in the middle. See where it is divided? And you have your clear plastic area right here, and then you have an enclosed area right here if you wanna put anything that you don't want to be seen when you open it. So that's really nice how that is separated in the middle. And then it says it's RFID shielded. So if you wanted to put your wallet in here, you don't have to worry about anything. You can put a small wallet in here. It's not gonna really hold a big wallet with a lot of stuff because it is one of your smaller ones because it lays so thin. Even when it is expanded, I'll show you what the bottom looks like expanded. So, I mean, it has enough room for your necessities that you need and everything. It's a really good size, small to medium crossbody, but it really lays really flat, so it's not really bulky. So this is the swivel in the blush pink, and this is a really good crossbody option. And I almost forgot to tell you that this also comes with another strap. So it has your crossbody strap, and I showed it how if it was completely short and how it looked over the shoulder, or it comes with this shorter strap if you just wanted to wear it short style right up underneath your shoulder. Next up is a great everyday bag that I use. This can be used by itself or it can be used in a larger bag and that's the coupe. So this one is in the camo rose color. Also have this in classic navy and the classic black. I just think it's a great everyday piece. What I use this mostly for is if I'm going into the store, I will put this in a larger bag and I will keep my phone, a credit card, my license, my mask and hand sanitizer in this. So if I wanna go into a store and shop, I will have everything that I need in this and I can use it as a belt bag. This is the most used way I use it is as a belt bag, but you can use this as a crossbody. I just think it's so small. I just don't know how I like it as a crossbody. So I don't ever wear it as a crossbody because I really like it as a belt bag. So here it is as a crossbody. You can also double this all the way over and just wear it over the shoulder if you wanted to do that as well. Again, I never use it that way either. I use it as the belt bag. So here it is if you just wanted to carry it like this. But like I said, you could just even unstrap this and use this as a little wallet in a larger bag. Like this could go really good in the windjammer that I showed you as a little wallet where you could just put stuff that you might need on the go and just grab it out of that and keep your bigger, larger bag somewhere else and just throw this over as a belt bag. Love this bag. Like I said, I love it better as a belt bag because I think it just fits really nice there on the hip. But this, like I said, is in the camo rose and looks really good as a belt bag. I like it so much better than the crossbody. But then in here, you have your front zipper that has, see this little pretty gray lining on the inside that's just a big empty space for you to put whatever. That's where I will usually put my phone at. And then in the back here, it has that little clear plastic area. That's where I will put my credit card and my license in that. And then it has this back zipper right here if you wanna throw anything in there as well. So I will usually just put like hand sanitizer on my mask here and my credit card driver's license. And in the front part, I stick my phone in there and we'll carry it into the stores like that as a belt bag. I love the way this looks as a belt bag, but you can use it over the shoulder or crossbody as well. Next up is another crossbody, but it's the crossbody trolley. And I love the trolley so much. This crossbody trolley was just great. And now it is a little bit thicker than all the other crossbodies that I've been showing you. A lot, of, most of the ones I've shown you will lay really nice and flat against your hips. So this one's a little bit wider than the other ones. And this came in that first lead box that I got. So that's the first time that I had seen this. And that's why it's in this pearl gray color. And I just love it. So I like how you can just grab a hold of the handle at the top and this is completely rubber right here. So it's really nice and grippy. But this is a great everyday crossbody as well. So you can see how it fits up against you. So it's a little bit wider, it doesn't fit as good, but as you're looking on, it's not really adding a lot of extra weight. It's not real bulky on the side either. So you can wear this crossbody or you can carry this over your shoulder if you like to carry over the shoulder better and you can just Shorten this as much as it shortens up and you can carry this over your shoulder as well. 
I really like this because it has that same shape as the trolley. I love the trolley so much. So that's why I really do like this one. Like I said, this is in the pearl gray color. So it's gonna have these side pockets just like your trolley does. And this has a really pretty chevron color inside of it for the lining. So it has those side pockets on each side. And then the very front has a pocket that has a double zip and it's your built-in wallet. So you have all your credit card slots over here and you also have this zipper part right here where you can put money or cash or anything like that if you wanna put your cash right there. And like I said, it double zips and it also has your designated cell phone magnetic area right there that's felt lined. And go around to the back of it, another zipper in the back. And that is also lined as well. Really nice area to just put something against your body. I really like how cute this little design is on the side, how it has the sideways quilting, the horizontal lines, and on the front as well, but the back is a smooth back. The inside, really big inside here. You've got two cargo pockets on the back. You also have a key leash that is inside. And then in the front, you have this long zipper area that has your clear plastic compartment on the front and it has a pretty good size that you can put a lot of stuff in here. So this is a really nice crossbody bag. I really do like this, even though it is a little bit wider, it still gets nice along the hip. But what I wanted to show you, since I just showed you these three in a row, I'm gonna show you how these last three look together. So here you have that blush pink and look how it looks with this camo rose. So the pinks kind of do coordinate together. If you wanted to get the camo rose and have something that's blush pink, they look really good together. But then it also looks really good with this pearl gray. So you can see that this camo rose looks really good with the blush pink and the pearl gray. I just wanted to show you how these three look together and the blush pink looks really good with the pearl gray too. So these three, like really coordinate really good together and that's why I wanted to show you how these three look together. This next bag is no surprise. I have three of them and I use them. I use one every day and the other two, I have different uses for those as well and that's the trolley. This is one of the best bags. It has so many different uses for it. This particular one is in the Tropical Multi. I have the Tropical Ocean that I use every day as my everyday makeup bag that sits on my counter. I absolutely love it. I have it in the Stars and Shells Navy that I use as a tool of true bag. The trolley has so many different uses. I have a video on eight uses for this trolley. I can link it down below for you if you wanna see that, but this is just such a great bag. It's a good car bag, all kinds of different things, but I love this one and look how gorgeous that Tropical Multi. This is my new favorite print. No surprise that the trolley made the list. It's such a great bag. So you got your front pocket that's double zip. Look at that gorgeous palm lining that is in the inside of this bag. But this is completely wipeable if you want to put your brushes or whatever in that. And then you've got your two side compartments as well. Both of these on each side. Then you have your handle, of course. And then on the inside, it's double zip for the main compartment too. You have this little mesh zipper right here where you can add some little things that in the mesh area. Then you have this other zipper that is right down here to add some extra stuff. And then you have this one big solid compartment to add just as much stuff. There's a lot of stuff that can fit in here and it's completely wipeable in that plastic material. And then you also have that trolley sleeve if you wanna just put it on a roller board. The bottom has that wipeable plastic with the four feet on the bottom to keep you from getting all those germs. And then on the back, you have another mesh little pocket right here and another longer mesh area right here. This is so great for many different uses. I mean, this bag in itself can speak for itself by all the different compartments in here. So I'm not gonna go in a lot of detail about this because this is just one of my favorite bags. It can be used for so many things. It's multi-purpose and it's just a great bag. So then that leads me to the last one that I'll be sharing with you and that's the mini trolley. The mini trolley is just as great as the trolley. I use this a lot for, this is my, current COVID bag. So I have all of my uses in here that I keep in my car. I will have hand sanitizer, a mask, a mask for my kids. I actually will also put some baby wipes and some Kleenexes and things like that just in case we need them for anything. And that's a great bag to just keep in your car for that. But I also have some uses for the mini trolley. Uh, I did a video on some uses for the mini trolley that I can link down below as well so that I don't have to go in a lot of detail about all of the uses for this for you. You can watch that video. Um, so I won't make this one too long, but I do love the mini trolley. It has a lot of good uses. But this is just a really great, small, compact bag that you can use to travel with every day, like on your nightstand. Anything like that in your car, it's a great car bag. So it's got the side pockets just like the trolley does on each side here. And then in the back, it does not have anything. So that is the one difference between the trolley. It does have the plastic at the bottom, but it does not have any feet at the bottom. 
It has that front pocket just like the trolley does. Completely walkable, a little bit smaller, so you can't fit a lot of makeup brushes or anything in this front part of the mini trolley, but you can also fit a lot of great stuff in the front of this. And then you got your big compartment on the inside and that same zipper with the mesh compartment on the side. So this is just like the trolley, except in the mini version, except that it doesn't have a trolley sleeve and it doesn't have the feet at the bottom and it doesn't have that back zipper area here. So this is another great bag from Lug. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for my top Lug purchases of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun just trying to narrow down 10 of my best because I have a lot but I wanted to narrow it down and make the video a little bit shorter than it could have been if I included all of my best purchases. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And like I said in the video, if you wanna see any individual in more depth reviews of any of these bags, then just comment down below and I will gladly do that for you. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos that is all look and fashion, beauty and lifestyle. So I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.